let me show you a simple way to switch your Apple ID on your iPhone, but keeping a copy of all of the data locally so you don't lose anything. The first thing that we wanna do is find and open the Settings app on the home screen. Right at the top here, where your name is displayed next to Apple ID, iCloud Media and Purchases, choose that. Next, you'll wanna select iCloud. Once you're inside of the iCloud Settings menu, tap Show All under Apps Using iCloud. Inside of here, you're gonna see all the apps that are storing the data also inside of iCloud. This is good, so you always have a backup of where it's being stored. I, for instance, save everything to my iCloud, so I have everything in here turned on. But if you don't, that's fine. It's just something to be aware of, of where you're saving things. So now that we know it's being stored to the iCloud, let's go ahead and head back and sign out of our Apple ID. There's two things that we're gonna to wanna to turn off first before we do this. Back on the main settings page, search for Find My. Once you're inside of here, just make sure that it's turned off here at the top. If it's on and you're turning it off right now, you're gonna to need to put in your Apple ID password, so make sure you have that. Once you're done with that, head back to the main settings page, and this time search for Screen Time. Once you're on the Screen Time screen, scroll all the way to the bottom and make sure that Share Across Devices is turned off. Now that we've done those two things, we can go ahead and sign out. Again, back on the main settings page, tap your name here at the top. Once you're inside of here, scroll all the way to the bottom and then you'll see sign out. Choose this and then enter your Apple ID password again if you're asked. Before we sign out here, make sure you go through and turn all of these on so that it keeps a copy locally on your device. After you're done with that, go ahead and tap sign out on the top right and you'll then be signed out of the Apple ID on this phone, but all of your data will be kept. You can then use your iPhone with all the data that's still there or sign in with a new Apple ID and merge. And that's how you switch your Apple ID on your iPhone without losing any of your data.